Today, we're gonna go all the way up there, strapping your seatbelts because there's likely no greater iconic figure in the DC metropolitan era than the Washington Monument. And we're gonna go all the way to the very top and look at the best view of Washington, DC. Like most of the other public attractions in the DC metropolitan area, going all the way to the top of the Washington Monument is absolutely free. There are only two ways you can get a ticket. Number one, you can order your tickets up to 30 days in advance before your trip, or you can wait in line the day of and get a ticket for that same day in this line. Now, I got there at around seven o'clock and there were 15 people ahead of me. However, the ticket booth opens at 8.45, and by 8.45, you can see the line is quite long. This line actually is not as long as it usually can be. If you're here on the weekends, a Saturday or a Sunday, expect the line to be much longer. Each person in line can get as many as six tickets, and the tickets are given out on a first come, first serve basis. So because you're in line, doesn't guarantee you'll get a ticket. The tickets are all time. This is what it looks like. And you can get one as early as nine o'clock if you are the first in line. And of course you have everything to choose from. However, if you are a little bit later in line, then you kind of get what's left over for that day. Now, once you get your ticket, you walk up to the base of the Washington Monument right before the entrance, and you'll make a park ranger there. He'll tell you a little bit about history about the monument and what you can and can't bring inside. There's a security check, and then you're off to the elevators. If you're one of these healthy people who want to take the stairs, <laughs> there is no stairs option. However, the vestibule for the elevator is quite nice and there's a little bit of tutorial about the Washington Monument, how it's built and the construction process. And if you look at the monument from the outside, this is one of the things I've known for years, but if you look from the outside, you will see that there's a difference in the, the granite, the stone that's used to build the monument. And that's because the construction of the monument was stopped during the Civil War. and then when it started again, well, they started using a different, you know, type of granite and it has a different color. Hands down, the view from the Washington Monument offers the absolute best view of Washington, D.C. And that's because it's the tallest building in Washington, D.C. There is no building taller, so there's going to be no obstructions to your view. As you exit the Washington Monument, you'll be able to, basically, this is what you're gonna see. There's gonna be a total of eight window bays, two bays on each side uh, of the uh, monument. So you can look at four different directions, north, south, east, and west. If you are, you know, height challenge, you have kids, no problems because they have these step stools that makes it easy for you, basically, to get a great view. Now, if you're not familiar with DC and you're not sure what you're looking at, the map on top and also right um, below helps you understand exactly what the historic and the noteworthy buildings are so that you can get an idea of what you're looking at. Folks who are familiar with my channel know that I specialize in fun and interesting things for individuals and families to do in the DC metropolitan area. So if you're looking for something fun and interesting to do, please check out my channel for dozens of ideas. Now here is a pro tip for you. If you are going to get a same day ticket, um, make sure you pick a day that you know the weather is not overcast or it's not cloudy or foggy or there's not it's not misty um, because it's going to obstruct your view. If you go on a clear day, you can see the view is absolutely spectacular. I'm gonna slowly make my way around to give you all four views. Now, if you are visiting the Washington Monument, keep in mind that it's 500 feet above ground. So if you have an issue with elevators, being in small spaces or height or claustrophobia, um, this could be a challenge for you.
Most folks who go to the Washington Monument don't realize this, but there is actually a small museum right below the entry level. You have to take the stairs down in order to get to that level. And if you are wheelchair bound, the monument is actually wheelchair accessible. So in closing, is this worth your time? Absolutely. You're never going to find a better view for absolutely free. You just have to really plan in advance or get up really early and get some tickets. Now here's something I learned in the museum. Lightning actually strikes the monument about twice per year. And if you're going to go up the Washington Monument, make sure to use the bathroom before because there are no restrooms in the monument.